right, everybody, I'm here at Woodland Cemetery and I got a thunderstorm bearing down on me, so it makes it a little bit even more creepier to be out here. Man, this is such a beautiful cemetery, Arboretum. It's a very special place. It's very, very neat. I love coming here to visit, seeing all these uh, historical uh, markers and things like that, but uh, it's also very, very creepy, especially this time of year. It's just got a creepy vibe to it. So we're gonna explore some of the uh, more creepy historical areas. Well, let's go check it out. Woodland Cemetery is one of the nation's five oldest rural garden cemeteries, and it's very well known because of the multiple historical figures that are buried here, including Wilbur and Orville Wright, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Matilda and Levi Stanley, writer Irma Bombeck, many more, including Charles F. Kettering and entrepreneurs John H. Patterson all from the Dayton area. It's still a very active cemetery with over 1,600 burial and cremation ceremonies annually. People from all over come to see this amazing cemetery and arboretum. This is one of my favorite headstones right here. This thing's awesome. Huge cross, it's like it's been chiseled by hand. That's really neat. Over 3,000 trees and 165 specimens of native Midwestern plants grace this arboretum. Many of the trees are over 100 years old, and nine have been designated Ohio champions by the Ohio Forestry Association. This is the grave of the Wright brothers right here. Orville, Wilbur, and I believe uh, multiple family members here as well. This place is just amazing. It has just such a creepy vibe. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful and terrifying at the same time. And you can come here pretty much any time of the year and, uh, and get kind of frightened. Uh, I've been here in the summer, fall, this time of year. It's creepy year round. It's just, it's very unnerving. And I don't know why that is, because it should be a place of peace and everything, but uh, I don't know, it's just weird. It's got a weird feeling. I think part of it is because of the historical nature of all these graves. Some of these have just been here for, you know, many, many years, 100 years. So it's just, there's a lot of history. It's very, very thought provoking, I guess is a good word. So 
So behind me, that's downtown Dayton, uh, my hometown. It's where I live. Beautiful view. It's probably the best view of the city from right here, I would say, probably. Very, very nice. Really pretty. It's a small city, small town, but it uh, does have some very cool things here. Unfortunately, this place has been subject to a lot of vandalism. A lot of tombstones and stuff have been wrecked. So they actually have 24 seven surveillance now. They have security drivers who tour the property constantly while it's open. It's sad they have to do that in a cemetery. It's ridiculous. So this right here behind me is the grave of Johnny Morehouse and it's supposed to be the most haunted spot in the area. Now I had several minutes of video of this particular spot and for some reason none of it turned out. Five minutes of video just completely disappeared off my camera. Very strange. Now the story is that little Johnny Morehouse in 1860 fell into a canal that he was playing near and started to drown. His pet dog pulled him out to safety, but it was too late. Little Johnny passed away. Now it's said the dog stayed with him until he died himself. To this day, little Johnny Morehouse's ghost is said to haunt this particular grave. No one knows if the story is true or legend, but people can say they've seen the ghost many, many times. Little Johnny's not the only ghost roaming the cemetery. There's another story of a female child ghost, seen in blue jeans and white sneakers. She's often seen as a full body apparition, usually playing, running through the area. No one knows who she is, and when they try to approach her, she generally runs away and disappears. Another story tells of a weeping woman who, when approached, is see-through. When asked if anything's wrong, she runs away crying, and then disappears. So was Woodland Cemetery really haunted? Or is it all just a bunch of urban myths? We may never really know. But in the meantime, next time you're at Woodland Cemetery, make sure to look behind you.